thermobaric aircraft bomb is one of the nastiest weapons in use in Syria. Also called a vacuum bomb, thermobarics spit out a cloud of explosive high-energy fuel, which it then ignites. A thermobaric weapon is quite often used in a built-up area because it has a terrible shockwave effect. It effectively bursts some fuel out into the atmosphere, which is then uh, ignited to the point of detonation, and the shockwave produced from that is absolutely catastrophic. It's far greater than the shockwave from conventional explosives. These weapons are at their most destructive in enclosed spaces and built-up areas. Even in the open, these 500 kilogram bombs will kill anyone within a 30 meter radius. With the detonation, you have catastrophic effects on, on the human body, um, particularly on the lungs, which face both a crushing effect and then as a vacuum forms immediately afterwards, uh, a collapsing effect as the lungs struggle to deal with the immediate vacuum. Um, and there's a potential for catastrophic burns as well. It took only two bombs to completely destroy a 70 square meter block of houses. 46 people were killed in Azaz on the 15th of August 2012. Fragments of a 500 kilogram bomb and the lack of a blast crater suggest that this was the work of the ODAB thermobaric bomb. Sukhoi, the Russian company that makes some of the jets which drop these deadly bombs, sold $2.6 billion of arms in 2011. To use that sort of weapon in an area where you know that there are going to be large numbers of civilians is frankly appalling. It's against all measures of human decency.